Hello everyone, Big K here with another GarageBand producing tutorial. Today we're going to talk about drum producing with typing and writing and all of that good stuff. Sorry I could not get a video up Monday. I've had a very busy week, but the song will be out tomorrow and hopefully this tutorial will make up for the lack of time. Um, so, I'm going to want to start with, and yet again, unfortunately, because I have Logic, it decided to put all the Logic instruments, or most of the Logic instruments, in here as well. Um, but you're going to want to start out with picking a drum set. And what a lot of people will do, which I do not agree with at all, is, that was Command K, by the way, is... They'll put. Let me give you an example. Okay. And they will do that and loop it and you have a drum beat. But any average music listener could hear that that sounds pretty generic, pretty crappy, you know, not very professional. Um, but let's take the same exact drum beat and mix it up a little bit. First, we're going to do Command D on Techno Kit to duplicate the track. We're going to do that twice. Actually, to be safe, let's do it five times. So, this is our first. Let's copy this and bring it down to the second one Command C, Command V, and bring it down to the third one as well. Okay. Now, we're going to name this first one kick. And as the title implies, delete everything but the kick. So now, that's that's it. Oh, and turn metronome off, or at least I will. Um, the second one, we will name that snare. And to name it, just hold down um, a click and hold down right at the end of the name and there you go and we'll name the third one hi-hat so as the name implies yet again delete everything but the snare and yet again as the name implies delete everything but the little hi-hat doesn't sound much different right I mean it's the it's the same thing well, here's where the mixing and production comes in. So, keep kick at exactly there. You do. I do not want, or I do not like, a high kick. Um, or, to rephrase that, I like a high kick too much, and usually I make the kick way too loud in my mixes, so I have to deliberately make sure to <laughs> keep it low. Um, but... We'll turn the kick down to about negative 8.2 decibels. Turn the snare down to about 6.7. Now, and this all really depends on the mix. I'm just doing a stereotypical, you know, song mix. If it was just a drum track playing, obviously you're going to want the drums to be louder. Um, but if this was actually, you know, if there was a thousand synth sounds going on, and they were the main focus, you're not going to want this very typical beat to overpower that. Um, we'll turn the hi-hat down to about negative 5.3. Yeah, okay. Alright. It still sounds the same, though, you know, and it still sounds 
a little bit crappy, and not the best uh, mix in the world. So here's another thing that will really help you out, especially with better speakers. On a computer speakers, on my laptop speakers, it's not going to really matter. But pan both the snare and the hi-hat. They, generally, you want your kick always in dead center. Kind of holds the song together. But the snare and hi-hat can go hard pan or soft pan. It really doesn't matter. Now, if you're listening through, you know, headphones with left and right ear, you'll notice, hey, you know, the snare's a little bit louder in the left ear and the hi-hat's a little bit louder in the right ear. And, you know, it's all cool and everything. <laughs> um... So, next we are going to double click the snare, go to edit, compression and your EQ matters very much. I'll just go over a basic, very, very basic snare. You're going to want your treble up and you can turn your bass down. You don't really want your bass up though on a snare. Um, so... Let's just see. Yet again, on laptop speakers, I'm not even sure. Yeah, okay, it does make a difference if you do a lot of mixing to that, but... Basically, what this does, in the very basic terms, is just strengthen or lowers a particular sound of the instrument playing. And a snare, generally, is a treble sound, so you're not going to want to put a lot of bass on a treble sound, generally. I mean, do what you do, but like I said, that's just generally. Um, here you can choose one of the many defaults, because I'm not going to go over compression just yet, but if there's something that sounds nice, like drum kit punchy, alright, you know, that sounds kind of nice, so you'll keep that. Now here is something very important to do with a snare to give it a real life sound. Add reverb to it. Not that much reverb, but let's try drum stadium. That's that's kinda good. Let's see what that sounds like. All right, yeah, you know that's it's pretty nice. Um, so now, now that you basically have the snare down. You can do anything you want to, you know. Really, you can add some echo to it. You could add anything and just mess with it to see how it sounds. But make sure you put reverb on your snare. Now for hi hat, yet again, it's a treble sound. I would turn the bass pretty low on hi-hats or any type of cymbals always I would but and compression we'll just do a See what soften sounds like. We'll do fat. Okay. Now for your hi hat, I enjoy add reverb to it as well. I would, and not much reverb though. I wouldn't say. And I like to add track echo to mine. Let's see what. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so hi hat. Yet again, you're going to want to add your reverb. And I would suggest adding track echo, but that's up to you. Yet again, you can add whatever you want to. Tremelo can actually sound cool on hi hats. Ultra pan. It sound 
a lot different if it was a really fast hi-hat roll. But, yeah, tremolo can sound pretty cool on hi-hats. Same thing for really snare if it's fast. Okay, so now we have your kick. Now, generally, I do not put effects on a kick. Just because, in my opinion, the kick needs to be the foundation of your drum track and when you add effects to it and do you know pan it and do all this crazy stuff to it it just kind of becomes another noise that people are focusing on instead of really just something that gives the song depth if that makes any sense it makes sense in my head <laughs> but compression will do see what extreme pump sounds like Hold on. I don't know why it clips on that first hit. That's weird. Hmm. Let me turn that off and see if it does that. No? Hmm. Let's try... Let's try fat again. Seems to do well. Alright, I'll just keep it with that. Now your EQ. It's very important. This actually really depends on the kick sound you want. Treble can actually sound good on a kick. Generally though, you know, kick is a bassy noise, so you're going to want your bass up, and let's just see what that sounds like. Yeah. So I'm kind of letting you hear the differences between this. So treble you can add without really feeling like you're going away from the um, purpose of the sound, I guess. So, with that EQ, let's listen to it. Alright, but, you know, this is all good and dandy and all that stuff, but it's still pretty generic, doesn't switch up, and one of the biggest complaints a lot of big music gurus are like all up in your face about is electronic music, the drums do not seem to switch up. I was like, it's just the same drum track looped for 10 minutes, and you know, I want something more than that. And really I agree with them, because I really love drums. So what you can do is take whichever one of these you want to, it doesn't matter, depends on how many notes you want. Actually, first, sorry, I'm sorry, um, I want to show you something else that can make drum track sound different. The velocity right here. Basically, velocity is how hard the note is hit, basically. So if you mess around with this, it can actually make your um, your song sound or the lot different. Let's do it with this. We'll do that. And with your hi-hat, you can just have fun with that. You can kind of, like, put it really low, then put it back high, then put it really low, then put it really high, then just maybe, you know, average, then really low, and then back up to high. So yeah, that can already make your drum track sound different. On top of that, what we're going to do is we'll just copy the snare track and put it here. And we will do this little trick, Command T, delete all of that, and extend this. 
delete that. And how loud is that? We'll put it kind of loud. And then you can loop that. And that gives it, you know, a little bit of variety. Actually, we'll do that. That'll sound better. Now the general rule about crash, yet again, treble sound. Let me turn that on. And I'm digging fat for this little drum beat, so turn that down. 7.3. Alright, yet again, you're going to want reverb an echo on that. Oh, just do defaults for this. And no, 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 no. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that's your crash. You know, that's pretty cool. And, oh wait, sorry. Also, you're going to want to pan it, just like every other drum beat so far besides your kick. And I usually pan the crash into the opposite ear of the hi-hat, personally. Because that does little cool effects on your ears. Okay. Here, you can add whatever you want to. If you want for just one part of your drum beat, you want a very soft little hi-hat roll, very soft snare roll, you know, maybe some double bass for a second. Add that here. For example, we'll do a little hi-hat roll. Let's see. Copy this. See here. All right. It's actually not even what I was uh, looking for, but I kind of like that. So let's see. Okay, yet again, it's a hi-hat, so we're going to treble up, bass down, we'll do drum fat again, continue, track reverb. I'm actually not going to do echo on this, because that's not what I'm looking for. So... Do that, and I will copy, paste, eight. I'll just do it before each one of them, why not?
Okay. Do some fine little editing here. <laughs> and oh. All right. Now let's see what the sound. Oh wait. Wait wait wait. Make sure to pan and change the decibel levels. All right, that sounds pretty good for what for you know garage band what most people say is a crappy software sounds pretty good if I do say so myself now those are just general things have fun with it play with some of the goofy sounds and play with effects on it like I say reverb is important for drums you could even add kick or reverb to kick and probably not lose sleep at night let's do it here just small reverb though. Oh, I don't know actually. <laughs> Definitely not that. Anyway, so have fun with it. Rate, comment, subscribe, and tell me if there's anything you need help with. Until next time, Big K out.